news. Hmm. Yogi Adinath, Adinath says Muslims did us no favor, no favor to India by staying here. So uh, Yogi in India said that the Muslims should have. Uh, ex- but hey, this is uh, this is the kind of parad- opposed partition. Sorry, I, right. I forgot where it was. He should have. He's a, one of India's most controversial right wing politicians, and he said that Muslims should have opposed partition, which led to the formation of Pakistan. He told the BBC uh, in an interview, Mister Adinath said that is the chief minister of the northern state of Uttar Pradesh, India's most populous state and home to nearly a quarter of India's 200 million Muslims. His government has been recently accused of using excessive force against protesters, especially Muslims, opposing the new contentious citizenship yeah, law. Th- this, Sorry. Guy, this guy is an actual anti-Muslim, not an anti-Islam. This guy is famous. It's, uh, and this guy is very well known for his anti-Muslim stance. Not anti-Islam mm-hmm. stance like we are, like we do, but an anti-Muslim stance. Okay, so these are the actual, the, the stuff that this guy says is the actual hate speech. Not the people that say Islam is a disease like I do. Not the people that say Islam needs to die as a religion like I do. That's not hate speech, okay? That's, sh- th- that's not, I, I don't think there's any problem with that. These people, these people don't have a much of a problem. I mean, th- their problem is with Muslims themselves, right? Uh, and they hate them, and they hate the God. So I don't understand what does he? What is he saying? He's he's saying that Muslims should. Um, they should have. Uh, uh, oppo- um, because it they seems- should have opposed partition, which led to the formation of Pakistan. I'm not sure why. Because, okay, but see, that's wait. That's a, that seems like a contradiction. Can somebody clarify something? Me? So he's yeah, saying, I thought hold, so too. He's saying that they're not doing India any favor by staying here. But the, they shouldn't have supported the partition. But isn't the partition what led to a lot of Muslims leaving India? So isn't those two statements contradictory? Ali, do you know? I, I think what he's trying to... Okay, so I'm, I'm remembering everything I learned from Shubham. Yeah, that Uttar Pradesh is like the, the Florida of India, if you will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 and this guy is up here saying that they should have opposed after after India became their own place away from Britain, um, all Muslims should have left. So he's saying that yeah, they, they if they had opposed, um, they they shouldn't have just opposed the partition. They should have just gone over and been in Pakistan, right? Like he's saying they they should have just left, not don't oppose the partition, uh, be happy with the partition and leave, right? Oh, okay. So. That's what I'm thinking he's saying. Ah, I see what you mean, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. And he's saying, like, so, m- most Muslims left India and went to Pakistan, and he's saying all of them should have left India. Yes. Right, okay. But they're, they're doing India no favors by hanging around in, in India. Yeah. Like, this is and a he, very... This guy is, like, so anti-secular. Like, these, and these people get... Vo- these people are popular. Like, this, these politicians, like, they're not some, you know fringe group of like really crazy politicians in India that are saying crazy things and people are saying like oh my god I can't believe he said that no these people are saying this because they have a lot of popular support for what they're saying right Uh, a lot of Hindus in India they hate Muslims they hate their guts they they are you know they they hate every single one of them they want them all gone right so this is like this is bigotry like this is actual bigotry this is not like you know, and this is the type of bigotry that the people that accuse us of bigotry don't usually point to, right? The people that say like, oh, Armin, you're a bigot, you talk about Islam. And when you have like real bigotry, that people that want to kick out people for their beliefs out of their entire country, and they want to create a country that has a two-tier system where Hindus are considered a higher class of citizens compared to Muslims, they don't, they don't point to these people. They don't like, oh, hey, hate crime. This is hate crime, right? And these are not just people with opinions. These are people that have write laws and make policies, right? These are not just a random bigot that is just like typing and making YouTube videos online. We're like, oh, I hate Muslims. I wish they leave the country. No, they have power. And they're actually, they're, make, they're making a country that 
the, the country that's supposed to be secular, they're, par- they're making a Hindu version of Pakistan. They're taking their country backwards. They're making everything that ma- made India great, which is the secularism, they're attacking the secularism, the very nature of, the secular, of secularism in India. There are huge threats. Hinduism is a greater threat to India than Islam. And these people are a greater threat to India than the Muslims in India. And he has power doubly because he's not just a politician. He's also a Hindu priest yes. of a very influential temple. And he, when he addresses people, he shows up in his robes, his saffron robes with his head shaved and his little, you know, mala beads. So he's bringing not just his own opinion, but he gives the guys that this is the opinion of Hinduism as well because he's showing up as a priest right and just before like that i with this video when it gets cut and is separated and it's posted on youtube it's gonna get so many angry comments so many hindus are gonna be like yeah oh, i mean you don't understand hinduism blah, blah, blah. like yo you get your facts do your research before you comment and it's funny that you know there's so it gets the hindus in india they get so butthurt over this right every time we talk about uh, this stuff but you know but one thing that they keep saying is like oh i mean you have no idea what muslims did to hindus right i know what muslims did to hindus muslims they killed more hindus than they killed christians jews and any other all other religions combined i know that they killed around 80 million right so this you know so in fact you know the whole hindu kush area you know hindu kush means like killing hindus it's named after uh, Hindu killer. Yeah, Hindu killer. Like Hindu killing. I know what Muslims did to India. They they ma- committed many mass genocides like that people don't talk about. But that was that that. But that's not the these Muslims. Okay, you cannot well hold the Muslims today. You cannot hold them accountable to the crimes of peop- other Muslims uh, that did this like generations ago. You, you can't just guilt by association. You can't do that to people. That's not how it works. Okay. And that's totally what he's doing because he said, we aren't the biryani eating people, making the reference to biryani, which they eat in Muslim, a lot of Muslims eat in Pakistan. He said that Modi should, and he agrees with him, shooting terrorists with bullets rather than giving them biryani. So he's trying to imply that all Muslims are terrorists. And he's not going to give them any biryani. I mean, this guy is a bigot, a disgusting bigot. Ultimately, right. that's what it comes down to. Yeah, so the top mm-hmm. comment is actually one of those things that I predicted. I know this is going to be in the top comment in the comment section. I think this is somebody from India. I'm just profiling people based on their name. I think it's a, <laughs> I think it's a pretty safe bet. But Surab is saying people in developed part of the world might not have experience the radical fundamentalists firsthand and they might feel compassionate uh, and secular about every religion but believe or not mostly they come from a specific faith having said that there are good people in every faith and color but their voice and actions become null and void when majority believe hurting in the name of superiority of their faith is justified i actually have no idea what this guy just said so never mind uh i don't know which side was the uh, what he just said could be applied could be read as defending muslims or hindus at the same time i have no idea that's just a bunch of fuzzy words that was just strung together i have no idea what you can say all right so that was a bunch of nonsense uh but let me see chris is saying have the people who get offended by your news considered crawling to their safe space and hugging their teddy bear maybe they wouldn't be so triggered then i i think it wouldn't be a teddy bear i think it'd be a teddy cow i don't know <laughs> Our- atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.